Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. What used to sound like science fiction is now knocking on our door. Artificial general intelligence or AGI is no longer some distant dream. It's taking shape right now in research lab across the world. These are AI systems that could one day match the human mind also to learn, reason, create, and adopt across any task. If that sounds like a big deal, it is. AGI could change everything, how we work, how we govern, how we learn, even how we connect with one another. And here's the truth. We are not ready, not even close. Some people think AGI is decades away, but the truth is we are already in the earliest stages, what many are calling proto-AGI. Systems like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Cloud are starting to show signs of general intelligence. They're not fully there yet, but they're moving fast. Just look at what they can already do. OpenAI's latest model, GPT 4.5, can remember details from past conversations. It can learn your preferences, adopt to your tone, and work across long, complex tasks. Gemini 1.5 Pro can handle both text and image, turning a hand-drawn sketch into real code or analyzing dense scientific data. These systems aren't human, but they're getting closer. And that means, my friend, we need to start preparing now. This isn't optional anymore. It's urgent. Right now, three major forces are shaping the future of AI, AGI. The United States has the world's leading AI labs but no unified policy. I mean, every state has its own rules and big questions around safety, ownership, and ethics are still unanswered. China is going all in through centralized planning, typical Chinese. Its tech companies are advancing quickly, and while ethics are emphasized on paper, transparency remains a major concern. I mean, think about it. They created robots with human brain in it. The European Union is leading on regulation. The new AI Act is the first major legal framework of its kind. But Europe is still planning catch up on core AI innovations. At Google I.O. this year, Sergey Brin, yes, the Google co-founder, stepped on a stage with DeepMind CEO and made a bold claim, quote, we fully intend that Gemini will be the very first AGI. That marked a big shift for Google, which had previously taken a cautious approach. Now, the racing forward joining OpenAI, Anthropic, and others in the push toward AGI. Let's talk about where we stand today. There are four key areas where we need urgent progress. And right now, none of them are where they need to be. One, safety. Yes, there is research into making AGI safe and controllable, but it's not moving fast enough. Only a handful of companies have real safety teams. Most countries, nothing. Two, laws and governance. I wrote a book about it, AI in governance, and I suggested, proposed many policies and safety measurements in each section within each niche. If you can, get your hand on that book too. See, governments simply aren't equipped for this. A few countries are experimenting with oversight models, but there is no shared global framework. That's a dangerous gap. Three, most people don't know what AGI is all about and what AGI is or what's at the stake. Media coverage tends to bounce between hype and panic. We need open, informed, democratic engagement. See, right now, a few cooperation in a few countries are making decisions that could shape the future of humanity and the perspectives of the Global South, minority communities and underpresented voices almost entirely absent. That's not just unfair, it's short-sighted. So what we need now? Well, AGI isn't just another tech trend. 
It's more like nuclear power or climate change, something that could uplift billions of lives or destabilize entire systems. This moment calls for more than competition. It calls for cooperation. We need to create an international body like the IAEA for nuclear safety that sets the standards, audits powerful systems, and help resolve conflicts. We need something like that for AGI. Use exciting global institutions like UN or OECD to build trust and frameworks for ethical developments. Demand transparency from tech companies, open research, independent audits, and accountability. We need it because these are not just for shareholders, but to the public. We need to provide to the public. If AGI is going to help shape our world, the people building it need to answer to all of us. This isn't just about machines. It's about us. AGI reflects who we are, what we value, how prepared we are to wield new kinds of power responsibly. Yes, today's AI systems like GPT 4.5 and Gemini are impressive, but they also highlight a painful truth. Our response so far has been reactive, fragmented, and deeply unequal. If we want a future where AGI serves humanity, not threatens it, we have to work for it. And we have a lot of work to do. Like what? Well, we must build clear ethical and technical frameworks, create independent safety institutions, educate the public, and above all, commit to global collaboration. We are competing with each other in different parts of the world. We have to collaborate. This is a very serious problem today. See, AGI could be the most powerful tool we've ever created. Whether it helps us thrive or puts us at, at risk depends on the choices we make today. Thank you.